Hey everyone, hope you all are doing good. So in this session, we are going to talk about the Turbo Extract Data Raptor. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, like what is the Data Raptor and introduction of the Omni Studio, please check out the description. Uh, there is a link for those. Okay, let's come back to the uh, Turbo Extract Data Raptor. So how you can get there, go to the, your Omni Studio app, uh, by this hamburger icon once you are the omni studio app select the data adapter tabs from here and after selecting the data adapter tab you will be redirected to this screen and click on the new button so once you click on the new button it will be opening into the new tab provide your data adapter name here so i'm going to give it like cat contact details okay so here I'm going to select my data raptor as a turbo extract. Click on the save. So once you click on the save, it will create a data raptor for you. Here we can see like we have three tabs. So extract, uh, here you will be specifying the all the fields that you want to carry. Then options, uh, we are not going to utilize this options much uh, at this in the video. So we, we might cover these uh, things in uh, some upcoming sessions. And then we have third tab called preview tab. So if once you are done with your like uh, queries or all the setup of the data adapter, you can go here and you can click on execute button and then you can see the response uh, of your data adapter or query. In this section uh, right here, you can see this is input parameter, which means uh, if you want to test out your data raptor, you can provide your parameters here and then you can pass different different parameter to test uh, test out your data raptor. So let's go back and select the object here. So first thing that you are going to sell you are going to select here is your object. So here I'm going to select the contact object. In the uh, extract output path, you are going to provide the JSON node. So here I'm providing the JSON node name as a context. And in the filter section, you will be providing the variables for the filter. Here I'm going to select the ID. And then I would say ID were not equals to null. So basically on the first demo, I'm picking up all the contacts from the system. So here I am saying that fetch out all the contacts where ID is not equals to null. So we'll talk about these things um, on later videos, but uh, these are provided by the Velocity or Omni Studio. There are predefined variables for it. Like even though there are variables for the like user ID, are today's date and tomorrow's date. So uh, for for this demo, we are going to utilize the velocity uh, dot null. And then you can select the fields that you want to carry from the contact object. So first name, I'm going to carry the last name. So let's go back to the preview tab and click on execute. Okay. You can see the contacts node that we have created earlier and all the records are present here. And if you see in the debug log, you can see the what query it created in the behind the scene. So you can see that uh, we have ID, first name, last name, and then uh, the filter that we have provided ID not equals to null. And by default, Velocity adds the limit of 50,000 here. So if we have more than 50,000 of data, then uh, it, it won't be coming through this uh, data raptor. And if I go back and if I want to apply more filters here, you can apply like and and or here. So if I want to apply for like, let's say uh, where account ID also not equals to null, right? And if I go back and if I hit the preview tab or execute button again, so you can see the here we have the query ID not equals to null and account ID not equals to null as well. So let's go back and let's see more options here. We have the OR operators. Uh, we can also apply the limits. So 
in the limit what we are saying is like let's bring only five records and if I go back and click the preview button you can see that our limit has been applied and we can see we only have the five records coming here and then we have offsets as well and then we also have order by so let's utilize the order by here what I'm saying is order by last name and which is descending let's go and preview it so right now we can see this uh, it's not in an order sequence so once I do this you can see uh, it is ordered by the last name and which is in the descending order and the same thing we can see in the or query as well so we have covered order by limit and then we ha also have the offset uh, I can provide the offset like I, I the record should start from the two so if I if I uh, fire this and you can see the limit has been applied but now the data table is picking a record from the index two rather than from the like beginning so you can you you have seen that uh, we can do a single object query here we cannot do child records but yes if you want to bring some fields from the parent record that's doable so if I go here and I say okay I want to bring some fields from the contact dot account okay so once I select this you can see this list also get reflected with the all the fields from the account so here what I'm going to do is like I will bring the account name and this and if I go back and if I click on the execute button so you can see that it is bringing all the data from the contact also a data from the account object so you can see we have the name of the account here so this is how you can get the data from the parent fields and even though like if you have contact account and if you if you want to get data from like accounts parent account that's also doable so as you keep selecting the more relationship uh, in the upper level of hierarchy will be coming here and once you are selecting the upper hierarchy based on the object it it will keep showing in the all the fields that we have okay so let's go back up a step and let's delete out all these filters and let's see how we can pass the parameter here so I deleted all of them and now what I'm going to do is like I will filter out based on the ID okay so I'm going to open any of the contact record from here and then I will utilize the contact ID from here okay so to apply the filter what we need to do is we need to specify the variable name and it can be anything and we don't need to add any kind of prefix or postfix Right, right now you can see for the null we have the double quotes but for the variable name we don't need to specify so I'm going to keep the variable name as a record ID which is rec ID and then in the preview tab if you hit this execute right you will see the error because you are not passing the any of the parameter here so I will click on edit as param I will add rec ID and then I'll go back to the contact record I will copy my record ID from here and I'll hit the execute button so now you can see this this is uh, picking up only one record and you can also see that filter here and if you have some complex uh, uh, input parameters right so for example uh, this rec ID is here uh, not directly here it is coming in a JSON format right uh, in, a, in, a, in a node right so what you can do is like you have a node called let's say uh, obj and in the obj you have this node okay so I'm going to make it little bit of beautified so I will use the JSON lint for here and then yes this JSON is correct I'll go back to the our preview window and I'll paste that JSON here and if I click on execute we will again see the error because record ID is not there right because it is in the OBJ record ID so 
if I go back and hit the obj dot record ID this is what we do usually and you will see you are still not getting the data right so please don't get confused how we access uh, the data in the like JSON or Apex like using utilizing the dot we need to utilize the colon here so so now you can see the data so we have variable record ID in our OBJ so we have specified OBJ colon rec ID so this is how we are getting our data so this is what we can achieve through the turbo extract great I hope you have learned a lot from this um, we will cover extract data raptor in the our next session thank you so much have a good day bye bye